Hi, good evening, friends. India, which is the second largest military force in the world after China, today has a multi-domain capable aerospace power with unprecedented global reach. The Indian Air Force was born on 8th October 1932 with just four Westland Wapiti aircraft, six RAF trained officers, and 19 Hawaii sepoys. But today, it ranks third on the World Air Power Index in terms of fighting strength among various other countries. With the latest inductions of fighter aircraft like Rafale, light combat aircraft, special operations transport aircraft, heavy lift aircraft, attack helicopter, and heavy lift helicopters, airborne warning and control system, and in-flight refueling aircraft, Indian Air Force is already operating the most modern fleet of aircraft and associated platforms. Upgradation of numerous other aerial platforms like MiG-29, Jaguar, Mirage 2000, AN-32 and Mi-17 helicopters are already complete. However, military aviation and associated technology is an ever-evolving field which requires continuous upgradation. In recent past, IAF has seen a phenomenal change and now in the next few years, there's a clear plan to phase out relatively older fighters, transport aircraft and helicopters, which requires to be changed with modern equipment. Looking at the huge transformation cost and the given time frame, Indian defense industries have to collaborate and promote indigenization to face the challenges of modern network-centric warfare. Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhyan, or self-reliance, has been a prominent agenda for the India's Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, and he introduced Make in India as a national theme during the 2015 Aero India Air Show. The new government's endeavor to transform buyer and seller relationships into joint ventures, co-development and co-production has already brought many fruitful results. The Ministry of Defence, for the first time, interested a private firm, Tata Advanced Systems, to manufacture C-295 aircraft to replace the aging fleet of Avro HS-748 aircraft. The deal of nearly Rs 21,935 crores was signed with Airbus in September 2021. The prototype of advanced medium combat aircraft of India's futuristic fighter is planned to be rolled out by end of 2025 and the deadline for the first flight is around 2026 or early 2027. IAF's fighter fleet modernization plan hinges critically on the capabilities of the DRDO and the indigenous defense industries to deliver the advanced medium combat aircraft and the light combat aircraft LCA Mark II in time. The famous defense contract to procure 126 medium multi-role combat aircraft had generated a lot of interest among the world's aircraft manufacturers since 2007. It was this deal which brought Aero India into the limelight and attracted major aviation contenders. The list of such participants included Russians with their thrust vectoring MiG-35 variant, Boeing's twin-engine F-A-18 Super Hornet, Lockheed Martin F-16 fighter, Saab's Gripen JS-39, the twin-engine Eurofighter Typhoon and the Dassault Aviation Rafale. 
in 2012, the Eurofighter Typhoon and Dassault Aviation Rafal emerged as final contenders, with Rafal winning the competition for the contract, but the same could not be finalized due to various reasons. Finally, in 2015, the project MMRCA was cancelled and later, under the circumstances as severe for the IAF to maintain operational capabilities, the government decided to acquire 36 Rafals in flyback condition. The recent induction of 36 French-made multi-role combat aircraft, Rafal has given the Indian Air Force an operational edge to strike deep and hard. However, this is not enough to keep up with the depleting strength of the squadron aircraft. Therefore, procurement of 114 jets under multi-role fighter aircraft project and acquisition of 83 light combat aircraft Tejas will help the IAF significantly in the face of a gradual drop in the number of fighter squadrons due to phasing out of the fleets of MiG-21, Jaguar, Mirage and the MiG-29. Apart from this, the Indian Navy is looking to procure around 27 fighter jets for its aircraft carrier. The two aircraft which are in the race include Boeing Super Hornet or FA-18 and the French Dassault Aviation's Rafale Marine. The US based aerospace giant Boeing had started a partnership with the Hindustan Aeronautical Limited in 2007 for producing parts both for commercial and military aircraft. Today, the Indian Air Force is operating 11 C 17s, 22 Apache helicopters, 15 Chinook helicopters, 12 P 8Is for the Indian Navy, 3 business Boeing jets, and 2 Boeing 777 300ER used as Air India 1 all Boeing platforms. In the last few years, the footprint of Boeing in India has increased drastically. As per inputs, additionally six Apache attack helicopters, which will have indigenous fuselage, are under procurement for the Indian Army. Looking at this fast changing scenario and India as an emerging nation to deal with various contingencies across the region, the Make in India policy in defense will build the foundation of a robust industrial base. collaborative and participative approach between the users, DRDO, the industry, the government and the foreign vendors brings in great opportunities for golden ties during Aero India 2023. From the first edition of Aero India which happened in 1996 to the 13th edition of Aero India which took place in 2021, the event has grown over the years and grabbed eyeballs from across the world as Asia's biggest air show.